This is John Strickland, Strickland, aka the franchise, and I am a street street ball ball legend. legend, legend. Why am I a street ball legend? Well, uh, you know, nowadays guys are being given these titles after one or two moves. So I've been doing this for 15 to 17 years. You know, when you go against a legend and you get at them, and that's how you become one. Street ball means life to me. Like I live, eat this, it's like it's breath, then be playing ball. I just love this game for life. And I played in, you know, the legendary Rucker Park, then you got um, Hunter College. Then you got the Kingdom, Boots in the Sun. If you go to work there, then it's pretty much you get your status. Franchise, fade away, banks at home. I've never been no high jumper, never been quick, so. Still the same as I was 24, I'm moving the same way right now and I'm 34, just a little more clever. You know, the franchise game is just real, just being crafty, a post-demon. Got a lot of tricks in the trade, left hand, right hand, like Houdini. I was with the Knicks for a little bit, and I've been to Miami, a couple of NBA camps, overseas all over the world. Minor leagues, picked up a little nickname from there called MLK. Not the great Martin Luther King, but minor league killer. Hey, bro. Big fella just sitting in the middle. Okay, you know we coming back. Two bumps. Two bumps. You know, I do a lot of talking. A lot of people don't know just to keep me pumped up. Because I play against a lot of players. You know, no disrespect. I can't really get up for them. I never cross the line, though. But just always to get a little laugh here and there. What the f*** are you about? Nothing like this, baby. Yeah, the franchise signature move is definitely that left hand. You know, sometimes I talk to him, he talks to me, he talks to the people. It's just love. My best street ball moment, I was playing with the terror squad, Fat Joe. I'm looking around, I see Sean Marion to my right. That's 90 million. I see Jermaine O'Neal to my left. That's 120 million. And Stephon Marbury looked me in the face and said, Strick, we going through you. So it just felt good, like, you know, the guys of that caliber come down here and they respect my game. About going back to the NBA, I thought about it about two years ago when um, I grew up. I got a childhood friend named Jay-Z. I'm pretty sure you know him. He's really part owner with the Nets. He was trying to get me to go to camp out there and all that. But, you know, at 34, I just left him home, just going overseas, just trying to get this money because I figured at the end of the day, all that money is still spins the same. You just had a moment with a street ball.